Hey guys, it's Clara, and today I went to Office Depot. Did a little bit of shopping, so I kind of thought I would incorporate like a haul slash how to be organized in school. My New Year's resolution, literally year after year after year, is to be more organized. Let's be more organized. Yada, yada, yada. It's a load of BS. <laughs> the same, like year after year, I just, I'm not organized. And I am the kind of person where I like everything to kind of be like, very concrete like I'm doing this then this then this but I find it a little bit cluttered so these are just a few tips that I have to stay more organized and then I'm also kind of throughout going to show you what I got from Office Depot but first and foremost like my main kind of like tip is just to have set goals whether that's bi-weekly daily monthly yearly just set yourself goals and what I do with all of my goals is I put them in a little journal. I recommend a journal. This one's just like a little blue leather one. I think it's, it's from Markings by C.R. Gibson. And I put in video ideas, um, like things I need to get done, all my lists, just really anything. If you want, you could take it a step further and have, you know, different notebooks for different things and maybe color code them, like a notebook for lists, a notebook for your creative projects, notebook for school. But sometimes that can get a little cluttered if you have too many notebooks, so you could just invest in one like I have. And then to go along with that, I um, recommend having a planner, and this is specifically for schoolwork. Um, and like big events, like if I have a date party or I have a concert I'm going to or I'm going on a certain vacation, everything goes in here and I just kind of um, put it out weekly and then like shorter things I'll put like through the months. And so, yeah, this one's kind of old and rustic, but this is just the Amid, um planner. So, yeah, I love those. Then my next tip is just to kind of like where you can color code without it being too um cluttered so what i do which actually helps this is the first semester i did that and it helped me so much is that i put i matched my notebook colors to um folders so i have four classes that i'm taking next semester so i'm gonna have a green folder and a green um notebook then a blue folder blue notebook purple and purple and this color and this color so that way if I'm like on the go and I don't like have enough time to like read the front of my book I can be like okay orange that's for my communication class grab grab go and so it just it makes things a lot easier it's organized it keeps my papers in one place and I absolutely recommend doing that another thing is just to um okay well I, I got a bunch of pins and these are just really fun colors but um, to go along with the pins is to pick a different color pen, so not blue or black. Pick like purple or pink or orange or in this case green like I did. And then when you take notes for a certain class, when you go back through and you're starting to study them, you can make notes on top of that or make markers like, hey, I need to study this for the test. So then when you're going back through it, getting ready to study, you can find stuff that's important that your teacher told you to remember or you can make notes of things that you need to remember. And it's just really helpful because it'll stand out on a page where you've just written something in pen or um, like pencil. And so then my like kind of last tip First thing, I guess, organized and kind of like clutter free in your head is to find a hobby and then pursue that wholeheartedly during this next semester of school. So if you're really into music, then get take a singing class or if you're really into photography, take as many pictures as you can. And although this isn't necessarily something that's like to keep you organized, it's going to help keep your brain, brain clutter free because you're going to have an escape path. You're going to have a way to kind of like take a deep breather and get away from all of the clutter, which in turn is going to help you be more focused. It's going to help you get your stuff done. And it's just going to be overall really beneficial for you. And so obviously film is one of my biggest passions, which I'm going to continue to pursue. But this semester, I am going to take on a new hobby. And that is sketching. So I bought um, just a little a little sketchbook, and I got some graphite pencils for my sketchbook. I want to get some of the really nice pens, but they were like twenty bucks, so I didn't get them. But yeah, so I'm gonna start sketching. I'm 
don't know how to sketch, I don't know anything about it, but that's going to be my escape route this semester when I'm feeling cluttered or like I have nothing to do. Instead of sitting down and wasting hours on Netflix, I'm going to try to put my passions elsewhere. So today I'm actually going to go on a little hike and try and sketch some stuff. So these are just my few tips for um, staying clutter free and keeping organized during the school year. And let's have a great semester, everyone. Comment below with what you guys want to see next, and I will see you later. Bye.